So you're also known for being a great DJ. What makes a good DJ? Is it your stage present, your song choice? Is it how you read a crowd? Yeah, no, nah, absolutely. I think, in my opinion, song choice is first. Because no matter how good you scratch, you could, if it's, if you playing some bullshit, it's, it's just not, it's not, no. So it's song choice is first. And then just being as nimble as you can with flipping it and whatever style you have. Some guys are good scratchers. Some guys are just someone who can elongate a beat for, you know, however long and you know it's, it's different styles but definitely song choice is number one in my opinion got it so i was working as a mobile dj for probably 10 years now i remember there'd be plenty of times where i would be be a hot dance crowd you're playing some good dance music maybe 50 to 100 people are dancing and you always have this clown customer that has a terrible request that would ruin the floor did you ever right. run to that and how would you handle oh that my god have I? yeah man it's you know People turn into, I don't know what you what the phrase will be called, but like temporary DJs for a minute. It's like, yeah. oh, I know what will save the party. It's like, why do we need to save the party? It's already rocking. Like, Look well, floor. What, yeah. yeah, exactly. Like, what's going on? But it's, you know, you got that environment, people drinking, you know, doing different things. So, yeah, definitely, man. And, and it's funny because when I, I, I started kind of late with publicly DJing, I could always DJ from day one. but taking gigs and going out. So it was just so bugged to me to have people roll up like drunk females, like, do you have this right? You know, they spitting on you, it's all kinds of stuff. And it's like, wow, is this part of this game? I never knew this as part of the game, you know, cause we were all like bedroom DJs. It's like, oh, yo, that's ill. Oh, you won't kill them with that one. But you know, yeah, so that's that's a crazy dimension of what we what we deal with as DJs. Absolutely. I mean, I would always have that customer that knew everything. Oh, everyone's going to love it. They want to hear boys to men after get low. I mean, <laughs> with all due yeah, respect to boys to men, it just, you know, I'll make love to you. Yeah, it's probably not going to yeah. work after get I low mean, or but, in the club. But one thing, one thing I do is I, I consider it. Like, I, I will definitely, even if I may be in a mode, I'll consider it to see if I can please the crowd or that one person and say, all right, okay. cool. Let me. But if it just doesn't work, it's like, nah, man, get out of here. And I'll tell them like, yo, nah, get out of here with that. Or, you know, that kind of okay. thing. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Now, have you ever find yourself maybe where you went to a club and you almost want to, like, why is that DJ doing it this way or not that way? Or why is he taking so long before between songs? And I try to not judge. I try not to judge. Um, I mean, in the beginning, I may have, especially as a break dancer. Cause it's like, all right, change the record already. You know, I'm kind of, you know, this energy is waning, like, please. Like, but you know, as a DJ, if I'm, or as uh, just a bystander, if I hear a DJ, I kind of let them do their thing. If I know them, I might bug out when like, okay, turn, you know, next record, you know, that kind of thing. But other than that, nah, I just, I, I, I play the cut. Got it.